guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode 8 of Do You Eternity. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I need to repart my hair because, like, I have too much on this side. Are you sure? I mean, you know, you're a rich girl. Do you want to work? I mean, I get that, but, you know, I mean, she's only doing this to get close to Fuji because she has a crush on him. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel like it's an excuse, Gugu? <laughs>
Oh god, no. Google, see, now we're doing too much. Well, no, no one can make fire from their hand. Like, What the hell? Okay. I mean, hold up. That that's a little messed up, though. Like, Oh my god, Fushi. Honey, can you really cook? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, no, no, oh. Well, we need to go out and find Google and bring him back home. 
Rafi is not that far. But what if you need that to live, though? Because we still haven't seen, like, what he now looks under the mess after his accident. No, because he doesn't belong here anymore. Mm. I don't know if that's a good idea, but... Mm.
Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Google, you need to come back home, baby. <laughs> oh, properly? Yeah, but he doesn't know where Google is. No. March. She's right. I can't even give you an answer, but by everybody's face, apparently, yeah. I mean, it's just, I need to look at you. What the heck you look like now? You need to go find your mask.
Marco. No, this isn't fine. You need to go back to Fuji and everyone else. Just in there. Oh, that's cute, but something tells me, like, oh, God, the fact that he gave his brother the ring, like, for his brother to have a better life because of the fact is, like, Google could have sold that ring, got the money, did whatever the heck he wanted to, but the fact that he gave it to his older brother and to basically tell his older brother to have a better life than what the hell he currently has as of right now was really sweet. He didn't have to do that, but... He wanted to. Oh my god. Like seriously. All the emotions today. Oh my god. Jesus. Emotional Mondays. And we had to add it on with Kingdom Hearts and Union Cross. And what the heck happened to Union Cross. Like oh my god. Oh it is too much. But I feel like whatever the heck is going to happen to Gugu. Next possibly. It might be good for him. I'm not 100% sure on it. Because right now it's just a guess. But for him to do something nice, he should be blessed by it. I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, yeah, he almost was kidnapped and sold off and ish, but you know, thank God Fushi came and saved him. But I'm scared to find out what might happen next because anything can happen in this show. I'm already attached to this little boy. I mean, even though I still want to see his face and what he looks like, he only gave me the eye. But there's got to be something else there. And, of course, I mean, you know, he always puts his head down and everything. But, like, I want to know what he looks like now. Ah! Yep, see, we about it, huh? That's what's gonna happen. <sighs> Always a shadow emerges. It's about to be like mm, sadness next week. You gave me happy sad this week, and the next thing is just gonna be complete and total sadness. Like, ah, uh, this show, I can't.
I can't with it sometimes, but I love it. Like, oh my god. <sighs> Please let this kid be okay. I need at least, besides Fuji himself, I need one other person. Besides Fuji, besides the creator who created Fuji. I need somebody else to make it to the end of this series. We're not even on episode 10 yet. We're not even at the halfway point of this show yet. But, come on, man. Like, <laughs> do not kill anybody else. I don't need anybody else in this series to die. Please. Like, oh my god. It's still, for like, March, it still hurts. Still freaking hurts that that child is gone. That Oh my god. I, I can't. I can't do it again. <laughs> I don't want to cry over another freaking kid. Please. Like, I swear to you. Don't do this. I don't know, like, even from that preview, I have little to nothing of whatever could happen next week. Please don't kill him. Don't kill him. Don't kill the little girl. I, I, don't kill anybody. Let, let them all survive the 20 episodes. That's it. That's all I want, please. But this is a really good episode. I mean, I understand why he threw away the mask. But now that the mask is gone, something that was a part of him up until now, like, he has nothing. Yeah, he's going to have to have a new one, but, I mean... I really liked the mask. It was nice. It was different. It was unique. It, it made him, you know, still stand out, even with the fact when he wasn't wearing it. But even to, like, his, um, the guy who he was working for the fa that wanted to be, um, like, his new family for him, and the fact is that his, I'm guessing, second oldest child, um, said those things to them. Yeah, very, like, disrespectful. And, and I mean, you know... Number one, once again, kids will be kids, but, like, sometimes there's a point where you just want to tell your kid, hey, just shut up. Like, don't don't say anything. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. And really, honestly, oh, the thing, God, I would have, mm, we would have had a talk that night, like, a really good conversation, especially if, you know, um, Google had a told, um, the father of what his son did throwing the water on him like that was really disrespectful but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 8 of TV Eternity if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 9 bye guys